so this is part 76 by now you must be a member so we will look at questions linked with these topics the cloud watch log insights is one topic we will look at anomaly detection shortly then we will look at databases like rds DynamoDB and understand which one to use under what scenarios. We will quickly understand what Elastic Cache is and how does it fit in in the scheme of things. We will look at security groups, how it fits in. Understand what route tables are and what does it mean to configure these. Briefly touch upon AWS Shield and intrusion detection and prevention systems. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. You can also click the link in the description and become a Cloud Kernel member. Let us look at this question. Do you want to play with the log data? CloudWatch Log Insights is meant for this purpose. It can store the logs and curate. This would be the right answer. Streams is a sequence of log events. So each source is a log stream. It will only get the data, but not to insights on the data. And you want to do insights like query, search, analyze, D is wrong. There is some sort of machine learning and algos playing for anomaly detection. And what it does is, you know, it will continuously analyze your metrics. Well, that is different than C. C is like you get your data. The data might be from yesterday, day before yesterday, one week back. But B, option B, anomaly detection it's real time when the question says you want to perform queries and analyze the logs analyze is like push the occurrence of events it is it does not mean real time it is very important to know this difference a lot of time people get confused between b and c so cloudwatch events it delivers near real time stream of system events so this is again or near real time and not analysis post the occurrence see you can tell boss if this event occurs do this you see this line you can pause and read this line so a is near real time b is real time c is which will apply here and d is like real time streaming of the log data so this would be our final answer if you want to read more about log insights pause this video here and read it carefully some key takeaways log insights provides sample queries and this line is very important from the past you can search the log data and analyze it and then you know it is working with a lot of data single request can query 50 log groups. Log groups does not mean just one resource. It's a group of resources. And queries timeout after 60 minutes. So there is enough time to complete the query. And query results are available for seven days. So that is the beauty which helps you analyze the log data. See in this next question, uh, you have a database okay and this is your database on premises and then they are telling you to move to cloud so that means in cloud also you will have to create a database oracle database okay now the problem see oracle is a relational database rdbms but what is their pain point their pain point is that the database administration effort should be reduced okay now if that is the case see if they didn't tell the database administration effort needs to reduce i would have told you put this database on ec2 instance and go away but if you put it on ec2 instance your administration effort is high because it is not auto managed so you have to do the patch install and all uh, housekeeping work you have to do it that is why we have to go with uh, a service which is a managed service a managed database service now will dynamodb fit the bill what is your take? Will it fit the bill? It, it will not. Why? Because see, we talked about Oracle database. Oracle is a RDBMS, relational database, SQL based database. This database is no SQL based. It will not work boss. Is Elastic Cache a database? No, it is a cache. It is memory. So it will not 
work because it is not a database hence a is wrong so we cannot put the database on ec2 because it will not minimize administration activities so ec2 is wrong so we are left with one answer see rds it is relational so it can hold oracle database you can fire sql queries and it is a uh, managed so it is like uh, you know it says remove inefficient and time consuming database administration tasks that is why we are going to propose this because it is a managed database service aws will do a lot of administration activities for you so this uh, meets the requirement here so let us look at the next question here see this is the youtube handle of this channel there are 600 plus videos on aws azure cloud google cloud snowflake see you are running a ec2 instance in a vpc so ec2 instance is like your vm on cloud and vpc so vpc is like you can put your resources in a logically isolated virtual network Okay, a virtual network closely resembles a traditional network, a physical network. So you can create small, small, different sort of networks that's called VPC. So in one of those virtual network, you have EC2 instance and you want to route and filter the incoming traffic. See, if I have to route, I'll go for routing table. That's common sense. So when we try to use route tables, there are these many different types of route tables. So we would definitely require one type of route table here so you can pause this and if you want to read about each one of those tables you can do that so i see route tables only in option b so this should be my answer because i do not see a route table elsewhere and then when we are talking about filtering the incoming traffic uh, security groups is just like a virtual firewall and you can control your incoming and outgoing traffic that's why option b suffices the need here now option D also has route tables, but it also has a combination of shields. The shield is used for DDoS protection and it is not used for filtering like security groups. So D is wrong. And then A is making use of route tables plus, uh, see there are so many options which had route tables. <laughs> I could not see that earlier, but you know, this is making use of uh, WAF and WAF is not a filtering solution. It will help you from common exploits is a security solution and what it does is security from sql injection cross scripting attacks and so on that is why a is wrong see intrusion detection system we can pause this piece okay what it does is uh, it offers key features to help protect your ec2 instances so that intrusion cannot happen it alerts administrators of malicious activity and if there are any policy violations okay it is not a filtering solution and it is not a routing solution as well so here security groups has been mentioned which is a filtering solution but intrusion system this is not a, a routing solution so this would be our final answer so for the route tables you can pause this video and read this and for security groups you can pause this and read this it's a virtual firewall for filtering incoming outgoing traffic so you can go through this content pause this and read it if you have, you have not yet subscribed then do so it will help us with improving the subscription base and you will also get alerted on latest certification content you can click the join button and become a cloud kernel member for a very small premium you can also become a cloud ninja member if you have like enough of cash handy so that will give you access to some uh complex certification portion sense as well stay tuned stay focused see you in the next part